how it all goes down. Fat little kid from Bridgeton Town. Blessed with a vibe the world should know. Channel 4 said he's a G and should have his own show. Off come scared what a G might say. Brought man like Mo to ride the wave. No kinky thing on TV, no way. Rastafari stands alone. Jaja City. Yeah. Hello baby, hello baby, hi. Hello baby, hello baby. Hello baby, hello baby, hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi, Sha. Ni hao, bonjour, Sha. Good and tough. Kenichiwa, it is going down. This big nasty show. I'm looking at the fat mask, no Jim Carrey. <laughs> Smoking. <laughs> Today, I just want to say, dreaming is the start to changing your life. Everything starts with a dream. The world is your Easter. Look at me. You know how much time I got stopped in search? Now the police ask me for photos. <laughs> we do stuff like this, because we dream big, baby. Big nasty show. Thank you. Big up man like Mo. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, nasty. What's going on, bro? How are you, bro? You okay? Uh, you got the Skepta Skank on smashed. That's I was the one there, isn't it? That's the one there. <laughs> How are you, though? You all right, bro? I'm How's good, things? fam. This shirt, though, is wavy, but it's hot, you know? You look like, like a... Me up. You look like a South London pimp, bro. Just... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Where's my money? Well, what would your pimp name be? If you had a huh? pimp name? Cheesecake. <laughs> 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 All right, cool. <laughs> so, look, look, look. We, we got Dynamo um, on the show. Are you a fan of magic? Yeah, but there's a thin line between magic and juju with the budget. <laughs> <laughs> <Hit me. laughs> look at the Jamaicans. Tell them I get Come on. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Who wants to see Nasty do a magic trick? Do a magic trick. <laughs> Come on, bro. Show, show him a trick. I call this trick, yeah? With the powers of jaw. We want the chalice with the water go so. Sounds good, man. Very good magic, man. You move, you move quick for a big guy. You move quick, though. <laughs> so tell us what's coming up on the show. Big nasty show, got D-Block Europe, Brexit's mad in Europe, Dynamo, Judy Love, you know, say nothing but love. While I'm standing here, I am burst. Big nasty show. My first guest is Charlotte Church. Make some noise for Charlotte Bro. Church, everybody! How are you doing? Hello, Charlotte. Yeah, yeah. How are you? You okay? I'm good. Welcome on the show. How's it Take going? Take a seat. Take a seat. Oh, thank you. Have a Lovely seat. Lovely sofa. Hello, Have everyone. Guys, please make some noise for Charlotte Church, everybody. I am. Big up this Charlotte Church. It's your birthday today. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. I'm 34. 34. Fucking Same 34. age as me. Four. Are you 34? Of course. Go on. I thought you were much younger. Oh, flattery will get you everywhere. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, and with it being your birthday, Nasty, got you a little gift as well. You got me a gift? Come on. Gift? Raz, is he a chain? Oh, we're not that close, babe. <laughs> <laughs> hey, boss man! Oh, Raz, look at that! Oh, yeah! Oh, that is beautiful! Happy birthday to you! Yeah, yeah, if you can take it. it yeah, it's amazing. The dragon's got a big split. Come on. That's a wicked cake. A dragon burning a split. Yeah. Come on. With, with a Jamaican his, flag on it. With his fire breath. Okay. Great. Okay. Got a dragon that blow fire. Absolutely. <laughs> you ever smoked a bit of the older? I couldn't possibly say. Oh. 
There's some sins in your church. <laughs> Is this the strangest birthday you've ever had in your life? Uh, I, I spent my 15th birthday at the Grammys, mm -mm. which was amazing. 15 at my the Grammys? Yeah, when I was 15. Who did you see that you was like... <gasps> I was sat next to Jill Scott. I don't know if you know yeah, Jill Scott. Yeah, listen, I we, we like him. Jill Scott. <laughs> yeah. I love oh, Jill, Jill Scott. Scott. Yeah, I absolutely man. adore Jill Scott. And she just released Who Is Jill Scott. Mm -hmm. um, there, there was a time as well I, when I went to the, uh, the MTV Awards when I was 14. Mm -mm. And I went with my mother. I presented an award with Wyclef Jean to Eminem. Uh, and my mother was sat in the front row as I was presenting the award, and I could just see her behind Buster Rhymes going, I can't see because of his ear. <laughs> I can't see because of his ears in the way. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> but on a deeper level, yeah? Something what I found out about you and I was really surprised is that you opened your own school. Yes. Like, what made you want to do that? I'm really, I'm really passionate about education. I'm really passionate about social change. I just wanted to actually do something that, that really made, made a, a difference. Um, and so, yeah, I set up a free-to-attend democratic creative school in South Wales. It's called the Awen Project, uh, and it's all about empowering young people to make their own decisions. So, um, yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Is your school big? Like, is it like a big school? Right now, it's in the annex of my house. Oh, yeah. Yep, so we've got 19 students aged between 13. So the school is in your 13. house? Yeah. Just got the kids in your kitchen in it. Hey, miss, can I borrow this cup, please? <laughs> <laughs> they are constantly over in the just, house. Just stealing cutlery. Hey, big man, take, <laughs> take this <laughs> little more stuff. Would you let Nasty teach at your school? Absolutely. <laughs> what would you teach? Boom, yeah, I would teach, yeah. Real G, I'll, te I'll teach real G philosophy. <laughs> And hood economics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But as a head teacher, what, what type of head teacher are you? <laughs> Would you allow me for bunking? <laughs> There's no such thing as bunking in our school necessarily. What? It's a democratic school, right? So the kids are a part of deciding everything to do with the school. The rules, the consequences. The rules? Yep, everything. So they can decide if they want detention or not? Or they can, they can decide... They can decide everything. So zoot breaks could be mandatory at <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. You've got to stay within the le letter of the law. CBD. <laughs> could, be, could be mandatory at school. <laughs> can uh, they decide their own punishments? Yep. And, and the thing is, is that, think about this, right? If you're born into a system where you're part of making the rules, then you've got ownership over it. It's something that you've discussed, that you believe in, you're less likely to break the rules. Mm -hmm. Some schools, that some punishments, as much as they was bad, like, I used to like it. When a teacher said, get out of my class, you know, you get out, you're like, my man's leaving anyway, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Fuck this class. <laughs> <laughs> In your school, that would be mad because, like, no, 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 you get out. You'd be like, hold on, hold on, guys. Should we have a vote? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think I'm gonna stay. Suck your mum, sir. So, anyway, I would depart. So, you were famous at the age of 12, right? So, being famous at the age of 12, like, did you stop going to school? Did you homeschool? Did you doing school on the road? How, how did it work? I did a bit of both. I did a bit of uh, school on the road and I still went to school. How was that going to school, though, being so famous? It was... Because, you know, people cuss you and that. Oh, shut up, man. I'm at your mum's house tonight. <laughs> <laughs> but how, how, how was that experience? Do you know what? I tell you what happened, right? When I was about 10, I got a scholarship to this really posh prep school in Cardiff. I got a scholarship for my voice as a, as a girl chorister. We were proper working class. We didn't have no money, all the rest of it. And, um, I, and I, got, I, I got bullied really badly for being poor. And then on the day that I left, I just signed a £100,000 record deal with wow. Sony. Um, and I turned around in the, middle, in the middle of the playground and there was a couple of the boys who had been, you know, picking on me and whatever. And, and one of them had said something and I was just like... I turned around and I was like... I've just signed a £100,000 record deal with Sony. That's my money, not my mum's, not my dad's, so fuck you! <laughs> I left and it was great. I've had a lush life, I've had a great time, but it's been mental. No, cos you've, like, performed for some amazing people, like... Like, not even, like, celebrities, like... Didn't you perform, like, for the Pope as well or something like that? Yeah, I performed for, uh, John Paul II. Um, 
and I performed for Bill Clinton. What? The, oh, what, what was, was this Manishka Lewinsky days? No, in, uh, <laughs> it was just after, and I was, I was, I was really young. I mean, I was criminally young. <laughs> no, I wasn't. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No, he was lovely. He I was very gentlemanly. I did not have any sexual relationship <laughs> with this woman. <laughs> Right, what's, what's, what's the maddest gig you've done? I, I've got a few, but this one, yeah, Go on. was majorly gas. So, man's gone to Austria, yeah? Some snowboard festival thing now, yeah? And, like, raw, I'm going to do a, a rave in a ski lift with, like, 80 of my fans, yeah? So, obviously, BDL party, gang, 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 gang. I built a spliff for a judger. It looked like a policeman's trunction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Boom! The thing started moving. The man's like, you can't smoke this on here. I'm like, shut up. I went first time in Austria. You want to watch that, cuz? God, tell me nothing. <laughs> man, start puffing this thing, yeah? Boom. I've got to look over the edge. All I see is bare mountains, and then my ears popped. I've only started freaking out on this bus now. Oh, no. Yeah? Imagine 30 of my fans now, yeah, are comforting me. I couldn't let go of the, of the bar. Oh. I can't oh. spit. I can't spit, cuz I don't feel like I'm secure in the ground. Do you get me? <laughs> So I'm holding onto this pole and I'm trying to split a couple bars and I just got some white girl stroking me saying, it's going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Yeah. I was on the ropes talking about I'm not going to smoke weed ever again. <laughs> now it's time to give away a prize. So let's play Secure the Bag. Secure the Bag. Secure the Bag. Secure the bag. Welcome Secure the bag. to Secure the Bag. Hello, and what is your name? Kadisha, Kadisha. You got to say it twice. <laughs> no, I'll say it once. <laughs> 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 now, Kadisha, for you to win, uh, Charlotte has to guess the famous faces, but only with the clues that Nasty is given. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. Now, Charlotte. All of these famous faces, these are people that you have met. All you have to do is get them right to win a prize for Kadisha. Okay. Kadisha. <laughs> Kadisha, Kadisha. Okay. I got you, babes. I'll do my best. Yeah, okay. come on. So let's play Secure the Bag. Yeah. Okay. okay. First one. Describe. Describe. <laughs> oh. He is a holy man. The Pope. Yes. <laughs> I did not have sexual relationships with that woman. Bill Clinton. Yeah. <laughs> that looks amazing. <laughs> Stevie! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God! Oh, my God. Yeah. You're good. You're good at this, Watson. Oh, uh, who... Whoever... Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, then. We're going to be doing the big nasty show. <laughs> He wears tight pants. He's... <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes. <laughs> Listen, hear me. The United States of America <laughs> will not negotiate with terrorists. Very good. George W. Bush. Oh, that was good. That was actually good. really good. <laughs> Is that you? you've won an overnight deluxe spa break for two, thanks to Buy a Gift. Now, guys, please get out for Charlotte and please get out for Kadisha. Now, Charlotte, it's time for your ghetto story. Run the track, please. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Big up, Miss Church. <laughs> Church. Yeah, let's do it, dance it. Number one album at 12. 12. Twice of an Elgil went round the world. 12. Five years, there was only swell. swell. Not bad for a Cardiff girl. girl. Two kids, one boy, one girl. We got the work on mental health. Help. In the brain is more than a shell. shell. Trying to church you go, girl. girl. 25 million, baby. baby. Don't know you're doing it swell. Swell. Don't know you're doing it well. Sang for the Pope, Bill Clinton, royal family as well. well. Built a school for the heat them. Cause you know the system won't abuse them. Sure you can, are you can? Ah See you after the break. And 
tweet us at the Big Nasty Show. We'll see you in a bit. Peace. Right. <laughs> Coming up on the Big Nasty Show. The thing is, Thanks. Nanny would just go and get it from somewhere else. Yeah, do that, but not my bridging. We, we can't be playing FIFA. A man's talking about passionate stuff about grandma. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Nasty Show. The shop is flickering, so I guess we have another guest who's going to come and join us on the sofa. Who's in the shop, Hax? I hear you are looking for love. Yeah, always, always looking for something. This is my brother. Mm -hmm. Beautiful looking man. Uh, he looks a lot like you, Richard. He's my brother. We are going to have the same resemblance, OK? But, <laughs> Yanni, but what I want to tell you, my darling, what my brother will do to you is amazing. Oh. I will explain in your accent, all right? Yeah. Him one fi put him khaki in your belly. I can work with that. I've had that already. All right, darling. You can go outside see the Nasty and the Muhammad. Thank you. All right, darling. Thank you. <laughs> Beauty. Make some noise for Judy Lam! Guys, please make some noise for comedian Judy Love. <laughs> Your second time back on the show. I know, like, thank you. Oh my days. Judy. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Judy, uh, something that makes you angry recently is like the royal family. Why does the royal family make you angry? Did I say that the royal family made me angry? <laughs> but what do you think about Meghan's treatment with the royal family? Well, look, I've said it so many times. I think that there was parts of it that was, you know, well, people are saying they felt like it was racist. She obviously must have felt there was some issue because she's left. Let's keep it real. Mm -hmm. And for some of us, we've all experienced that feeling, the uncomfortableness of racism and maybe can't explain it. And those who haven't experienced it won't know it or won't even understand it. So I think there was parts that she was always in the papers, always something about her. And if you take away everything else, all right, she's America, she's this, it always kind of seems like it was indirectly about the fact that she was, like, mixed race mm -hmm. or dual heritage. Like, get over it, innit? Mm -hmm. Like, you've made your own prince leave as well. Like, People was acting like they knew her, though. That's what annoyed me. This is what like, if I met her, I just knew I wouldn't like her. Yeah. Shut up, you prick, man. <laughs> <laughs> you got to be to say that? Like, uh, she seemed like the kind of person, like, if I said hello, she would be like, hi. Like, why would you say hi? I said hello. <laughs> you met the royal family as well, right? Yeah. And, and I think by the, the pair of them making a stand, saying this is... What you've put us through is total bullshit. There's, we're, gonna, we're calling out racism where we see it. Mm -hmm. you, you've, already, you've already put my mother through hell. I'm not about to put my wife through yeah, this. Yeah, and so true. we're fucking off to <laughs> Canada. I think it's yeah. great. And you're back. More power to it. Now, Charlotte, I take it you're not a fan of The Crown, but have you seen the Jamaican version? Here it is. Mm. There was a time when the sun shone on Jamaica. But one day, a scandal rocked the island. Our fool, fool Jamaican Eden and Prince got fall in love with some little common E that y'all. How what the fuck are going? <laughs> <laughs> this my girl, Sheila. Sheila. Sheila, Sheila, look, wash out. She's from Wales. Where? Where <laughs> Your Majesty, I've got you a, a special gift. Mm -hmm. It's Jamie Oliver's jerk rice. <laughs> Jesus! I planned your plan for pies and the king. Where the pussy clap? Rice not for jerk, my lord. Father, it's going to be a shock, but, um, Sheila, me one breeder. <laughs> Tread carefully. There's a snake in the palace. <laughs> I will not rest until I am sitting upon the throne and she is sitting on my bone. <laughs> the bone being Makaki. <laughs> I cannot help who I love. From my son. I might pick me, you know. She asked her by your two Bentley and at the front drive. Huh? 
The rest not too bad, you know, we can flex with them rice. Uh, you know. Come, daughter, come. <laughs> But well, you're mashing up the world right now, you're deep on loose woman. Well, <laughs> well, I'm trying to loosen it up, you know what I'm saying? Come so, on. Yeah, it's good, it's nice. I've been on there for like, I don't know, five weeks now. So hopefully I'll be back on again very soon. Like, Are you so. finding it? Yeah, it's good. Everyone's always asking me, like, what's the gossip? What are the women like? Like, are they bitchy? Are they nice? They're nice. They're honest to God, they're nice. Proper things. And they've been welcoming to me. So that's, that's what's all about. They're good. That's lovely, man. But, like, you see, like, like, despite all the success, like, sometimes people, like, still don't recognise you. Or do they get you mixed up? Yeah, listen, I've been mixed up for, uh, look, Alison Hammond, uh, Rusty Lee. Can we get a steal? Oh, look. What's still? <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. a bit similar, though. Yeah, yeah. But you know what? I don't think they're going off, like, features. They're just going off that we're both, like, fluffies. That's all it is. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> Look at Mo's looking like from Love Island. Go on. Sky, bro. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Now, Judy, you see, like, with fame, it's come, like, a little bit later in life. Did you have any, like, life hacks and stuff like that back in the day? What, how to survive? Like, yeah, like, like, when you were skinny You know them one there, like, when you run out of, like, fairy liquids and washing up your place? You just draw for, like, little shower gel, innit? Like... <laughs> hold on. <laughs> don't act like you don't know. <laughs> so, hold on, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Like, real Jamaican style, the toothpaste run out. You just search for the salt. Use that one time with your finger. <laughs> don't... Don't mess about me. So, hold on, yeah, wait. Yeah, see, someone's clapping over there. They know hard times. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Hey, ghetto chronicles. Who's ever been broke in their yard there? Yeah, you ain't got no cocoa butters. You just draw for the co some cooking oil. Oh, and my day! And that's grease down the hands and that. <laughs> Mate, you know the one there? There's grease down your hands and some <laughs> olive oil and that. Bring it back, all in the crevice in them thing there. It's hard on me. That's what, that's what I'm talking about. It, listen, it's no joke, you know, when you're broke. Do you know how many times crackers saved my life? Yeah, let's just keep it real. Yeah. Crackers is a good thing. Yeah, Have crackers no. in your yard if you're broke, yeah? Jacob crackers and butter. Are... Right! <laughs> real talk. Nazi's taught me some sick, like, food hacks. One time we were sitting there, we were sitting in rehearsals, and I had shortbread biscuits. And then Nazi's like, hey, Mo, hey, come here, come here. I was like, what? I was like, bro, what you wanna do, yeah? You wanna get a shortbread biscuit, yeah? You wanna put that in the microwave for two minutes, yeah? He goes, then what you wanna do, yeah? Get a petty for eat that, <laughs> ba la la la. <laughs> This one's free. <laughs> Get a custard cream biscuit, yeah? Yeah. And give it five seconds in the microwave so it melts the middle, not the cream in the middle. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no, you're actually yes. making me cry. <laughs> yes, you. You, have to find, you have to find ways to survive, man. That's just how it is, isn't it? How do, you, how do your children react now with your fame and stuff? Well, they just, like, I think they're still in that kind of stage, like... For my daughter, she's, all she wants to know is, like, have you met Stormzy? I'm like, listen, <laughs> I've met Stormzy a couple of times. Like, but she's still... That doesn't gas her. She wants me to be saying, like, here, babes, here's Stormzy. Like, I don't know why she was... <laughs> what do you mean? No, hold on a minute. That didn't sound right, cos I boxed the girl. No, she... <laughs> <laughs> so I think, like, obviously, with you lot and stuff, she's like, oh, my God. But they're more about, like, oh, really? You're on TV? How much did you get paid? What are you saying? You right? <laughs> That's what they're more about still. But they're cool, they're cool. Hey, Jude, yes. just like me, yeah? You're good at giving advice, yeah? Yes. And helping people with their problems. Try it. Yeah, me. Uncle Payne is known out here, and Dan know the voice of Judy Love is known. So, boom. Some people have got some pain on their chest. Mm -hmm. We're going to try and help them, give them some constructive feedback and put them in the right way. OK, just now I'm going to keep it 100%. Come on, this is what we do. OK. Pain my chest. Pain my chest. Pain my chest. My grandma keeps trying oh. to sleep with my mate every time he comes round for tea. What? <laughs> Your grandma a more freaky warrior. I don't know if my friend realises, so I don't bring it up. Firstly, grandma's trying to not have tea. Grandma's trying to have dinner. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe the mate wants to have a little freaky something with someone older. Like, you do your thing and leave Nanny, let her get at peace, yeah? <laughs> I'll smash my friend's face and even try to pre my grandma on any levels like that, yeah? 
Try best snow, cause golden syrup oh so simple. <laughs> a police blanket is well, But the thing is, Nanny would just go and get it from somewhere else. Yeah, do Obviously. that, but not my bridging. We, we yeah, got this thing FIFA. I'm talking about passionate Possibly. stuff about it's not, grandma. It's not happening. What's going on? <laughs> it's not about grandma no more. It's about my pride. How am I supposed to live? You coming to check me? No, I just come to check your grandma. What? <laughs> oh, you are you all right, bro? Now, we have an audience member um, who has something he'd like to get off his chest. Callum, where's Callum at? Callum, stand up for me, Callum. How's it going, Callum? You OK? Yeah, sweet. Tell us your pain in your chest, Callum. Ashley, I've been with you for five years. You've given me two beautiful girls. Yeah. <laughs> Someone in the audience and he's got something to say. I was like, yeah, if that's my baby father, I'm out of it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you after the break where we'll be joined by Dynamo. Please tweet us the hashtag the big nasty show. See you in a bit, peace. Coming up on the big nasty show. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Nasty Show. Oh, the shop is lighting up, so we've got a guest who's going to come and join us on the couch. Who's in the shop, Hux? Mr. Dynamo, let me scan you. <laughs> you are actually here. You are good at making things disappear, right? Yes. Can you make my daughter's moustache disappear? Oh, uh, <laughs> you know what? Even I'm not that good, but I guess to get the good looks from you, right? Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. I am happy to have you in my shop, Mr. Dynamo. Thank, Thank you, very you very much. much. Thank, Thank you, you very much. You're... Wait, wait, wait! You did not pay for your water. <laughs> Look under your hat, man, and keep the change. Make some noise for Dynamo, everybody! You... Thank you! Come here. Yes. Right. What's going on, Dynamo? How's How's going you doing, Oh, we're going for two kisses. <laughs> Mr. Magic Man, great to have you on my show. Thank you very much. How are you guys doing? You all right? <laughs> yeah, man, let's get straight to the deepest now. You do magic here, yeah, but are you fasting with the juju? This is what... <laughs> I'm a no-joke thing, we're talking about powerfuls and the elements and that. I do some crazy mm. stuff, but, you know, I, I promise, you know, I don't use any juju or any kind of, you know, evil things like that. Have you used your magic while you're, like, having sex? <laughs> I mean, you've got, I've got to use something, you know. I wasn't exactly, you know, gifted with the biggest muscular body or anything like that. So, you know, I've got to make, I've got to make it work for me somehow. That will be mad in the bedroom, though, man. You'll be like, can you feel that, love? Can you feel that, love? <laughs> no, 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 no. Look in your bum hole, that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. Seven of fucking diamonds, <laughs> Yes, Mo! <laughs> now, Dynamo, you've done some huge stunts. Yeah, you've done some amazing stunts. You've, you've walked on water at the River Thames. <gasps> yeah. Here's a, here's a clip. <laughs> I saw your feet hover like that. You're standing on a turtle. Standing on a turtle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because he's got turtles just in place. <laughs> All right, guys, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what is strange? I'll just how we are in London. Mm. No one didn't, like, they saw you at the edge, yeah? Looking like you're about to jump in. No one didn't run over to you and say, Are you all right? <laughs> people are too busy, like, where's, where's my phone? Where's my phone? Like, what happened to people caring? People, people running late for work in London, boy. That's. <laughs> yeah, that's mad still, but I'm on the last warning, so. <laughs> <laughs> now, Dynamo, you're back. You got another show coming out? Yeah, yeah. It's going to be on Sky One. How are you feeling yeah. about that? I'm excited, man. You know, yeah. it's been a. It's been a crazy few years. I'm excited to kind of get back on television. I, uh, I've kind of had time to reevaluate my whole approach to magic. I guess the last few years, taking that break, it's really reinvigorated my love for it. 
and I'm super excited about the stuff I'm about to show people. Like it's it's a different level, and I'm, I'm obviously I'm biased. I'm going to say that, but I genuinely think it's some of the best things I've ever done. Wicked man. Yeah. 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 So what so what so what kind of tricks can we expect? What kind of tricks are you going to be doing? I'll be honest. When I came up with half of the magic in the show, I was high as a kite. <laughs> and not like big nasty high, right? Because <laughs> my stuff was prescribed by my doctor. That's um, even I worse, though. Yeah, it was, it was, yeah, it was hardcore stuff. Like you know, I, I was I was in my hospital bed, uh, pumped up full of drugs, keeping me alive, and my mind started thinking with crazy ideas. I wrote them all down in my little black book, and then. Once I kind of got out of hospital, I made it my mission to bring these ideas to life. So everything you see in the show mm. was created whilst I was high as a kite in hospital. Wow. Wow. Cool. Do you feel like now you're in a good place? Do you enjoy like, the passion of, you know, doing tricks and stuff? As I was saying, I'm kind of... I feel more passionate more than ever about my magic. I did lose a bit of love for it, and then I got given the worst news ever, that I might not be able to perform magic again mm. um, because of arthritis and all the joints in my body. And getting that fear and kind of having to confront it, it really kind of reinvigorated the important things in life for me. And it also made me go on a bit of a journey to discover how to deal with fear. It started off when I found this passage about this technique they use in the barrios in Mexico, in Juarez. It's a gang initiation they use to get over fear. Because um, you can't obviously be in a gang and be a pussy. Mm. Right? <laughs> So, what? Tell a lot of men that, that. There's a lot of... <laughs> <laughs> they, they play this game to see who's got the biggest cojones, and it's, it's a little bit like Russian roulette. I actually think it'd be quite cool to play it now. You gonna do it? Yeah, let's do it now. With who, Bridget? No! I face we got babies. It's really yeah. important that we stay alive. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've got five strings and a hook. Only one of the strings is attached to the hook. The Mo. Lot of fire, what is going on? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm speaking... Hold your finger out. Hold oh, my finger out? Yeah. What that means, is Check, that... is it sharp? Is it sharp? Yeah, that's sharp. That's, that's sharp. That's, sharp. That's a real right? hook. <laughs> yeah. Before we get into this, there's a few ground rules. The first one, if you pull a string, you only pull one at a time. <laughs> And when you pull it, you pull it hard and fast. So what's the first rule? To pull the string. Well, one, one at a time. One at a one time. At a time. One at a time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry about the card with the bum hole joke. This is... <laughs> Please. You guys are ready. Stand up. So, no. Oh. oh no! Oh what? Oh no! Do you think I won't rip out your face on national TV? Uh. <laughs> Pull one string. This is just impressing me, man. Oh, Shall man. I put it hard? I'm not going to court. Not about you. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Charlotte, you're next. Oh my god, him. Grab a string. Oh, are you sure? Oh, sweetheart. Hard and fast. <laughs> Pull it. <hard. laughs> okay. You must case as well. <laughs> I really felt it touch yeah, as well. well. Like I feel audience. nervous. It really touched. Listen, I feel nervous being at the end because in the horror films, it's always one of the black ones that fly first. Well, left or right? Hey, hey, easy, no, this, isn't it? <laughs> left or right? Left. 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 Hard and fast. Oh. Yeah. Dude, make you stop. 
<laughs> my man, he can't believe it. No, that's... No, are you that's right? fucking bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, sometimes... <clears throat> sometimes a little bit of the thread can get caught in the back of your foot. Uh... So, one second, let me just... Are you all right? Sorry. Are you OK? Sorry, yeah. Ah, uh, wait. Yeah. Right? No, I think it's gone down. I, think, I can kind of feel it in my chest. It's a bit like heartburn. Can we get a paramedic? Can we get a paramedic? Okay. Oh! <laughs> can you see that? What the hell is that? Can you see it? Oh my god! What is it? It's the string. Do you <laughs> take it. Do you want to Slowly pull it? pull it out. Hard and fast. Slowly pull it no, out. Slowly! No, slowly! No, no, no. Is, that, is that my skin? Pull right? it! Pull it, man! It's that stressful, is... man! Oh! <laughs> pull it! No, no, no. Pull no. the string, bro! <laughs> pull it, pull it! Oh! 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 Rub up a bag of sun, tell him about a shank. Under yeah, the blood in there. Yeah. Keep it, zoom it in. In zoom the name of Jesus. <laughs> See you after the break when we're back with rap group D Block Europe. Oh my day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it starts shit. Oh it starts shit. <laughs> yeah. Coming up on the big nasty show. How old are you? I'm 34. I can make oh. you feel 18 again. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Nasty Show. Ooh, the shop is flashing, so we got some guests in the shop. Who's in the shop, Hux? Yes, what sir. one, brother? Yes, sir. Good, huh? What up, Kerr? What's Listen, good? boys, I got one fucking problem, man. Yeah. Your name is D-Block what? Europe? Yeah, yeah. You don't watch the fucking news. <laughs> <laughs> we left, my friend. Exit. Gone. Go outside, see yeah. Mohammed and Love Dynasty, all right? Love, Love, Love my brothers. <laughs> Take care. Exit the door to the left. <laughs> Everybody move up, guys. Please make some noise for D-Block Europe, everybody! We here, we here. Are you man are smashing it right now? Ali Pali, South London, baby. Let's go. Thank you. Thank you. So, how has life changed for you guys? You get recognised a lot more and stuff? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> I, got, I got... No, I everywhere. just got to go and call my daughter and find out if she knows who these men are. <laughs> <laughs> everywhere. Because you, you've been spitting since you were young. Yeah, but, like, man come from the mud. Do you get it? Yeah. And when you come from the concrete and you grow, it's weird, you know? Mm. So, we enjoying this shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm saying. Nah, I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we, we, we got a VT here. Nah, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. How old are you then? How old was you there in that video? 11. How old was you in that clip? 11 or 12. Okay. Wow. How old are you now? 24. Still a young'un. Yeah, I know Go young'un. On. What do you mean? <laughs> How old are you? I'm 34. That's young, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, feel I can make old. you feel 18 again. <laughs> 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, LB, is it true, like, like did you go back to school? Like, when you kind of, like, made it, there's, like, a story that, like, when you made it, you kind of went back to your, your old primary school or something like that, or secondary school? Secondary. Secondary. Yeah. Yeah. So... We pulled up in, like... <laughs> the, um, we pulled up in Ferraris and R8s. Yeah. But well, we're just trying to say hello on that, but... Yeah. yeah. I don't think they want to say hello. So. Yeah. So, was the school open? Yeah. Can <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, you say you pulled out, but I was like, was it open, was it not? Yeah. Okay. I'm I'm saying saying it's open you. I, I got the same treatment, you know. Yeah. What's that? I swear down, cos man got kicked out of school early. When you got kicked out of school? No, yeah. never. What did you get kicked out of school for? Stealing in canteen, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> no, but why, why did you get kicked out of school? Boom, yeah. Apparently, they tried to say man had too much control in the school, yeah. Me, Raul Dabaldi, yeah, Bomber Clark, Leon, Saw, yeah, me, my boy Wes, yeah, and Seymour. But it was happening. <laughs> Sorry, it was a Seymour that took me off. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got kicked out of school, yeah, my teacher, yeah, before we got kicked out, she said, yeah, I was going to be the flush, no, the, 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 the debris what comes out of the toilet when you flush it. What? Yeah? That's what she said, yeah. No. And it wouldn't surprise her if by, like, we'd end up in dead or in prison. <gasps> so obviously, no man's super up now, like, oh, off the chain. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, South London Press, let's go back to the school. Mm -hmm. She wouldn't meet me. She wouldn't come out and meet me. Send her a message. Come on, look at that. Mm. I am so up. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's the end of the show, so it's time to spit some closing bars. Run the track, go on, Dynamo. Hey, yo, piss that boy from Bradford, boy from North, like Marcus Rashford. Walked on wall, levitated on Sean. How far can you to spit a few bars? Yeah, I've been out for a while, but I'm back now, and I'm back with a smile. Bringing more smoke than Narcy's lungs, but I'm back on the track with a health and a style. People, watch my new show on my telly. I promise it's bigger than Narcy's belly. Oh, shit, I'm sorry, bro. Had to go there, had to dead it. This rap's nearly over. Oh, what a relief. Sky one April, beyond belief. Yeah, wake up in the morning. That's not pizza. Yeah, that's pussy. So can reaper. And I came up. Serving on Martinez. Serving on Martinez. I got live. Rolling with my Nina. I told my babe, I'm a still cheap, but I'm a keeper. I'm a still cheap, but I'm a keeper. Yeah. <laughs> Judy, run the bars. Yeah, well, Shit, I don't have much bars today. I've got breasts, but I ain't got bars. <laughs> Here we go. Last time I was sitting on a big nasty show. Hair was waving, showing off my afro. I'm back for the second time, as you can see. Keeping it real, cause I'm the same young me. This is me saying goodbye, no need to cry. Yes, it was fun, but this bitch gotta run. I don't fit bars, but I can bring it. She's here, out, I gotta sing it. Thank you to our guests, Charlotte Church, Judy Love, Dynamo, and D Block Europe. D Block, you guys need to get ready. Please, guys, get up for D Block, man, it's some nurse. Join us next week when we'll be joined by Louis Farouk and Kano. We'll be back the what? same time Sorry. next week. Good night. Peace out. Yeah.